everyone, it's Melanie from Speaking Styles. Today I wanted to talk about, as a speaker, do you think about your audience or do you think about yourself? Do you think you can't do it, nobody's going to listen to me, I'm nervous? Do you think along those lines before you get up to talk in front of people? And when we do that, we actually are not thinking about our audience. We're not thinking about how we can actually help them. And we have four fears when we communicate with people. We have the fear of failure. We have the fear of humiliation and embarrassment. We have the fear of about to lose control. And we also have fear of rejection. Thinking of those fears thinking which one of those relates to you when you're talking in front of people. Because then you can work on some steps to overcome that. If it's humiliation and embarrassment, is that because you don't feel confident to get up and talk of people? What can you do to be able to overcome that? What baby steps can you take? Whether it's to practice, whether it's to do it in front of other people to start getting comfortable. Is it fear of rejection because you think that nobody's going to like what you have to say? And that's when we have to turn that around, is that not everybody's going to get what you're talking about. And that's okay. You're going to have those people that absolutely love and support you 100%. And then you're going to have those people that are they're just not going to take away what information that you've given them. And that's okay. And to be okay with that. Because the more that we use these fears to stop us from doing something is that we will never move forward if we're always waiting for the perfect moment, the perfect time. And a lot of my clients will express this, that certain fears that they have, they're waiting for the perfect moment. And that's what I find a lot is that people wait for the perfect moment to do anything when they want to be a confident speaker is that they want to have the right message, the right questions to ask people, and you'll never get started. So get started today. Think about those fears. Think about what holds you back and writing down some steps in order to overcome that. And if anybody needs any help in those areas, then please get in touch with me because I can help you.